Sasha uh, Baron Cohen uh, gave the keynote address at an Anti-Defamation League event. And he made this ominous warning about the power of Facebook. Take a look. Facebook will run any political ad you want, even if it's a lie. And they'll even help you micro-target those lies to their users for maximum effect. Under this twisted logic, if Facebook were around in the 1930s, it would have allowed Hitler to post 30-second ads on his solution to the Jewish problem. Mm. Now, should Facebook take responsibility for this? Yeah. Uh, a little bit of this? Is this a question that we ask a lot at this table? What is the responsibility of social media? I think, I think Facebook would give, hit, give Hitler his own fan page. Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. But to me, the situation, and everybody's going to say, well, they used to, uh, uh, Time magazine had Hitler on the cover, and, New, and the New York Times yeah. in 1922 didn't think that Hitler was a bad idea. That was before they knew what a bad idea he was, just like all the networks gave airtime to Trump before they knew what a bad idea he was. Mm -hmm. Now we know what a bad idea he is, and we know what a bad idea Hitler is, and was, and black, black um, racism and anti-Semitism. So now is the time to correct the situation. This is global propaganda. Everyone in every part of the world hears this stuff. And then I just realized he said they micro-target the fans, so white nationalists can just increase their numbers all over the place. It's a very dangerous, dangerous tool, in my wow. opinion. Anybody else? I, I, I don't have, like, an extreme opinion on this one. I, I struggle with it. I struggle with it because, you know, having lived in a place where they don't have free speech, mm -hmm. I always come down on the side of, you know, as ugly as free speech can get, mm -hmm. we should allow everyone to speak. Um, I think the Hitler comparison is, is a bit extreme. Uh, for really? me, but I also realize that we're at a time when people are getting their their news and their and their political ads and everything else, not necessarily on TV anymore. They're going online. Sixty-eight and, percent and of so, people uh, get their news from Facebook. Yeah, you I know, mean, it's just like, I, I think I think yeah. they should start with getting, you know, facts right and dealing with fake you know, news you versus know, whether they should have political ads or one, not. One small thing, just as there are limits on the Second Amendment, there are limits on the First Amendment too. Well, you can't yell them. fire in a crowded theater, for example. Well, you, you shouldn't you have can, these war actually. machines out on the streets. These are the limits well, on the can, First and Second incite, Amendment. You can't incite violence and you can't, you know, <laughs> threaten people. That, that there are those limits. But I, I agree with Abby. You know, I. I I, I learned a long time ago that the most heinous speech is the speech that you protect because mm -hmm. it's such a slippery slope. And I, I really think if, if you look at social media, you know, a lot, Facebook is a publisher, right? So it's just a site. They're not really responsible for third parties, what third parties put on it, and, and that's a law. That's the Communications Decency Act. But I, but I also think um, it's really up to Americans to fact check. It's up to us to, d to determine what the truth is for us. I, I don't think someone else should be the arbiter of that. I think we get into this slippery slope where, where you have Facebook determining what we should hear what we should hear yeah. and read and, and and listen to i think that's very very dangerous more dangerous than the reverse i disagree you got anything back yeah. it's it's it, we don't have time it's okay. i was giving you some seconds it's okay all right thank you i i, I feel like I'm a major First Amendment person, and I still I say all that they have to, to be limits. And it's I mean, a private it's, company. It's so dangerous right now not in this to world. This is Russia's something we've never it. seen they before. They also Sunday. don't do a good job not censoring violence. I think that's my mm -hmm. biggest issue with mm -hmm. this, is mm -hmm. that um, a lot of times, like, true hate speech can continue, right. and I, I agree with the slippery slope thing, but I think when you're live streaming terror attacks mm -hmm. on your yeah, site that's, and that's allowed, pretty yeah. bad. you should really maybe take a second look at the access you yeah. have. Yeah. But it's very... Uh, yeah. yeah. That's, not, that's worth it. Yeah. 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 And if they come for them, they're coming for you, and then they're coming for me. And so we do have to pay attention. But this requires all of us to pay attention. Yeah. You can't slide this one past. Mm -hmm.